Do you know what you need to be healthy, but something is holding you back? What do you focus on when you think of your health goals? Do you focus on your successes or do you focus on your failures? By the end of this video, you'll understand why you're being so negative. You'll understand exactly what's holding you back and why it's all to do with your health mindset. I'm going to give you a practical exercise that will really illustrate how your negative mental filter is holding you back when it comes to your health. I'm Lara, psychologist and wellness coach. I can help you transform your health mindset so that you can feel your very best and learn to love your body. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. Are you aware of how much your thoughts, your mindset and your beliefs can be holding you back when it comes to your health? When my clients work with me, they are often super surprised at how much it's their mindset that's holding them back. They know exactly what they need to do in terms of what they should eat, what kind of exercise they should doing, but something is stopping them from being successful. This exercise I'm going to share with you can be so illuminating into what's going on in that brain of yours. This concept is called your mental filter and it can be set to be either positive or negative. So let's do a very short exercise to illustrate. What I'd like you to do now is close your eyes for 10 seconds. So make sure they're closed. Now open your eyes and look around your room and see anything in your room that's red. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to look. So you might see a red file on your desk or a red picture, a postcard, a candle, a red pen. So now that the 30 seconds is up, I want you to close your eyes again. How many red items did you see? You can open your eyes again. Write that number down. It could have been five, it could have been 10, it could have been 15. Type it in the box below and let me know exactly how many red items you saw. Now, what happens if I say to you, how many blue items did you see? Most people say, hang on a sec, I wasn't looking for blue items, I was looking for red. They'll say they only saw the red items because they're mental filter was set to look for red items and not for blue items. This is totally how our brains operate. When our brain is set to look for something specific, that's what we're going to see. And I know this is a really silly example. It's the difference between red and blue. But you can use this example to really understand what happens in our brains when we think about our health. Okay, let's take a moment to think about your past experiences when it comes to health. When you think back, do you see your successes or do you see your failures? Does it make you feel happy or does it make you feel frustrated? Drop me a note below to tell me, like what do you actually see when you think back to those instances in the past? Is it set to see the positive or is it set to see the negative? If you have a very negative filter, it can spill over to all aspects of your health. Let's say, for example, this morning you skipped your morning run that only last week you told yourself you would do every single day. You feel like a total failure, and then your negative filter is going to filter out anything positive that you've done and only focus on the failures. Maybe look back to a year ago when you gave up on your gym membership, and then that descends you start saying things to yourself like, I'll never be healthy, what's the point, I'm never going to be good at exercise, there's no point in following this healthy eating regime, I'm useless, this is never going to work. That negative filter can then impact the rest of your day. Even if you spend the rest of your day taking positive steps towards being more healthy, and then you do one thing that you didn't want to do. Let's say you grab a packet of crisps at the end of your day. And what you do with that negative filter is you keep focusing on the negative things that you've done. You end up beating yourself up and it becomes all consuming and all encompassing. 
So that's when the mental filter can negatively impact your health. But equally, this mental filter can be used for the positive. Change your thoughts, change your life, right? You can look around and see all the instances where things have worked out, where you did melt, make a healthy choice, where you did get up in the morning to do that job. You can look round at your experiences and focus on the positive. And in some ways, it's like having rose-tinted spectacles. You look at your life with an optimistic glow. Maybe you focus on the 7,000 steps you did in a day. Maybe you focus on the six glasses of water you had in a day. Maybe you focus on the five times in the week that you went jogging. Maybe you focus on the times where you ate an apple at the end of the day. Or maybe it's the fact that you stopped yourself after two glasses of wine. Can you see how your mental filter can be so important to your health? Drop me a note below. Is this something that resonates with you? Can you see how a negative mental filter can spiral out of control until you end up with this self-defeating attitude? Just this one simple mindset shift can completely change your outlook and transform your health. So I've added some more links below so that you can explore this information a bit further. If you want to learn how to improve your health mindset, then download my link below. It looks like this. It's five mindset shifts to transform your health and learn to love your body. And check out these videos next for more mindset tips and health inspiration. And if you liked your video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and please do share it with your friends. Bye for now.